everybody. Today we'll be going through Aurora HDR and how this can be used to improve the quality of some of your macro images. So we'll be looking at that right after this. What I'll be doing today is looking at Aurora HDR, which is a HDR editor by Skylum. And what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at a jumping spider photo that I've got. Um, so what I've done is I've taken a photo of a jumping spider. Um, this is a focus stacked image. And I've done a few uh, steps up to this stage that I'll do videos on later on. But I really want to show the benefit of HDR in a macro related image. So I've dragged the spider image in and you can see that the spider looks okay, but the image itself looks pretty flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn on um, remove chromatic aberration. And then I'm gonna click on create HDR. So with this image, I'm not going to do a lot of edits. Really what I want to do is I want to actually let Aurora do most of the work in terms of my workflow for this image. So I'm going to leave it pretty um, stock. I might tweak things like HDR clarity just a little bit, but I don't really want to create that, you know, the grungy HDR look that you often see. So I don't want to take that one too far. Um, microstructure could be improved a tiny bit, but it really doesn't need very much. And then um, the blue that you actually see here is the reflection of the sky from a black porcelain tile. So you could actually apply a polarizing filter, but of course if you go 100% it's going to look very odd. So I wouldn't recommend with any of these really um, applying 100%. So let's just dial that back a little bit. Maybe 40, possibly even a little bit. No, 40 looks good. 46. Um, HDR details boost. Um, you might want to adjust uh, medium and large details just a little bit. But again, you don't want to take any of these too far. So there are a lot of presets that you could flick through to see whether you like those or not. But in the case of this image, I'm really not going to. Um, really what I want HDR for for this specific image is just to try and work on the shadows and the highlights. So I'm going to turn on compare and what you'll see is the left hand side is the before and the right hand side is the after. So you know with a couple of very minor edits in Aurora HDR you can see that has made that pop um, and it's in my view a much better image than what it was before. Um, it's bringing out the colors a lot more. It's improved the shadows and the highlights to create just a much better image. So if I'm happy with this, I'm now going to export to image and I'm going to save in the same folder. And I'm going to save it and just put HDR at the end, just so I know what it is. Leave it as JPEG, 100%, and I'll click on Export. And so that image is now ready for the rest of my workflow. Um, and if you have a look through uh, my YouTube channel, you'll see some of the other videos in terms of what I did at the start to get to this stage here, and then what other edits I've done after applying HDR. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all the heart, it's my only medicine, yeah Everything I do, I'm just being genuine, yeah I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline, yeah I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah 